Hebrews 13, reading from verse 1 and 2. Verse 1, very short, it says, Let brotherly love continue. And love being the crowning virtue, it defines who God is. It should define who a believer is. It's the first of the fruits of the Spirit. It's really the most important commandment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. And so love fulfills the law. And in every aspect, it should define who a believer is. And so as we go through this chapter, we're just looking at different aspects. And the first one that comes up is hospitality. And it says in verse 2, Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. So just to really know that angels um, are, are really, they look like humans. It's very difficult to tell. And we, we could bump into them at any time. And they may arrive at your door at any time. And so knowing that they are God's servants, um, then we don't want to turn them away. Um, but just to look at that aspect in, of love, which is in John 13 verse 35. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. So there's also an aspect that as we open our home, as we open our hearts to one another, people will see that we have that love of Christ and specifically obviously for fellow believers um, so this it isn't it is a sacrifice um, it is difficult um, especially when you understand what the Greek of hospitality is in the Greek it's it's really entertaining strangers um, I think the King James puts it lodging strangers so putting them up caring for them feeding them it's one thing to have uh, your friends over, um, that can be a burden in itself, but to actually have strangers over is, is, a, good is a real sacrifice, especially in this day and age um, with security issues, etc. Um, 1 Peter 4 verse 8 says, Above all, keep your love for one another fervent, because love covers a multitude of sins. Show hospitality to one another without complaining so without grumbling without complaining um, because it's easy to it is tiring and so we can tend to complain verse 10 just as each one received the gifts use it to serve one another as good stewards towards the very grace of God and so to look at how that hospitality works out and, and there's so many different verses but I just thought of Abraham and, and Lot and in the context of specifically entertaining angels um, they are examples for us and Abraham in Genesis 18 verses 4 and 5 he said let and I'm not sure for both him and Lot whether they actually knew who they were entertaining but look at their hearts let a little water be brought and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree while I bring a morsel of bread that you may refresh yourselves and after that you may pass on since you have come to your servant and so there's an example of just washing his feet feeding them um, Lot says um, uh, the two angels came to Sodom in the evening while Lot was sitting in the city gateway when Lot saw them he got up to meet them and he bowed down with his face to his ground and he said, Here, my lords, please turn aside to your servant's house. There's a hospitality opening his house. Stay the night and wash your feet again, just to get clean from the journey. Um, then you can go on your way. And so very um, yeah, good examples of someone opening their home um, to care for someone, to wash and to feed them. And this should be a qualification but well, it is a qualification for an elder and that's why if you consider an elder's wife actually also qualifies or disqualifies him because she's very much part of that hospitality um, even the children qualify or disqualify an elder and they're very much part of that hospitality it should be part of every household to have to be hospitable just a wonderful day god bless